Balveni is a character who again spans two of our plays. He goes from James I all the way through James II. And what we know of him as an historical character is that he's a, a sort of lesser, by no means an insignificant, but a lesser member of the Douglas nobility, uh, the Douglas family, who actually ends up being the Earl of Douglas. And from a, a noble who has a small amount of lands and influence, Act ends up being one of the most powerful magnates in Scotland. In James I, we see Balveni scuttling around the edges of the royal court and attempting to grab a conversation here or a stolen word with the Queen there as a way of attempting to wield extra power, gather more land. It's a very macho world. It's a very, uh, you know, it's a world of warrior princes, really. Um, and Balveni doesn't thrive in that environment, but he thrives uh, by sort of wheedling his way into the right place at the right time in order to put the right word in the right ear and, and so on. So he's, a very, he's very political um, and that's interesting within the context of a very sort of, you know, a very brutal world. By James II we see a man who's growing fatter and fatter with his amassed land. He also loves his food and becoming the most powerful man in the kingdom, perhaps only second to the king. And he develops into a very abusive father. He, he, he treats his son and heir, William Douglas, um, extremely brutally um, because he wants him to understand that he's carrying forward his father's legacy. Well, it's, it's almost undeniable that the 1440 incident of the Black Dinner has got James of Avondale above Balvenie right behind, it, making like Crichton and Livingston do the deed, if you like, but he gathers the benefits afterwards. Yeah. And of course, James of Balvenie becomes seventh Earl of Douglas, but not only that, he, he engineers the marriage between his son, William, and the surviving heiress, in other words, the sister of the sixth Earl and David who have been um, executed at Edinburgh. And he makes sure that William manages to marry Margaret so that the unentailed Black Douglas estates still come to that family. So it's quite clear, circumstantial evidence notwithstanding, that this is a concerted effort for this branch of the family to acquire the, the actual head of the um, family earldom titles and everything that goes with them. I choose to imagine it as a character who is himself lesser and insignificant, who gets an opportunity for power and then turns into a man who goes I can have that, and I can have that, and I can have that, and whose ambition grows and grows and grows as his own power grows, but has learned to do it not by attacking, not by coming from the front, but from manipulating things behind the scenes. It's a world where everybody is striving to outdo everybody else. Um, and I think that, that with Balveni, it's just a question of, he plays to his strengths, I guess, and he's also quite fortunate, he finds himself in, situations which he's able to turn to his advantage until eventually, you know, his demise.